On this week's episode, find out about the fun-loving band Conbro Chill and what the Corvallis OSU Symphony Orchestra is up to. And also get the inside scoop on hip-hop artists Blase and Jove and the OSU a la carte music series. Only on Bombshell, Bombshell Music News. News. Music fans, welcome to this episode of Bombshell Music News on the one and only KBVR. I'm Kaylee Hanasek. And I'm Camille Field. And we're your Bombshell hosts here to give you the latest scoop on bands, artists, events, and all things music in Oregon and the Pacific Northwest area. Last weekend, our Bombshell correspondent Sierra Lever got the latest news on Portland hip hop artists Blase and Jove. Let's see what they were up to. Yeah. What's up, I'm Jove. And I'm Blase, and you're watching Bombshell Music News. Hey Corvallis, you're watching Bombshell Music News. I'm Sierra Lieber and I'm here with a Portland singer, Joe Bay. Go ahead and tell us how you started singing. Um, well, um, I started singing in church actually. Um, I was real young, probably like five years old. And uh, I don't know, I just started uh, leading a song in church. Well, go ahead and tell everyone about your first performance and now how you've evolved since. Um, when I really had my first performance, I was in L.A., and we were doing a circuit down there, and um, it went pretty well. Um, I was doing more of like watching and learning and seeing other performers and just picking up from them what I could use to be a better performer. That's good. And so your name, how did that come about? Jove, <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. Um, Jove actually means love in Greek. Oh. Uh, yeah. And so... Um, uh, a lot of uh, people started calling me that, girls, and um, it just picked up and snowballed from there. Okay, so that's perfect because Valentine's Day is around the corner too. It is. <laughs> you have a Valentine? No, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> I know you mentioned being in the church and your father's a pastor. Yeah. yeah. How has that been as an artist and creating music? Are there any, is there any pressure or challenges with creating the music that you like to do? No, actually, um, my dad is a big supporter of what I do. Um, he knows that his, what he chose to do with his life is what he does, and what I do is what I do. So, um, it's all good there. Uh, most, of, most of my fans and people who, you know, run up and ask me for autographs and things like that come from the church. I know from church. Okay. Well, how about those new fans that you want to get out? to follow you, how do you reach out to them, or how can they reach out to you? Facebook, Twitter? Um, they can do all. Um, uh, I have a website, or we have a website, livewireforever.com. Okay. Um, they could also follow me on Twitter, at King Jove forever. And, uh, or they could just go on like my uh, fan page on Facebook, which is just Jove. Okay, well, do you mind giving us a little live preview? Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> Okay. Uh, this is from one of uh, me and my uh, label mates uh, uh, releases called Unfinished Business and uh, I'll just sing a little bit of the chorus for you. Okay. Okay. Oh, baby, girl, you're gonna get it started in this room, yeah. Sex until there's nothing left to do, oh. We don't put in too much work to leave it unfinished, unfinished business. I'll start right there. That was great. Okay. <laughs> well, that's all we have for right now. And next up, we'll have a rapper, Blase, also part of Livewire. So stay tuned. 
Thanks, Sierra. We have to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back to give you more of the latest music news. Now let's get into this week's stories in the world of music. Albany, Oregon may be small, but that doesn't mean big things aren't happening there. March 2008 was the year that witnessed the evolution of rap hip-hop artist Poverty's Poster Boy, who hit the ground running and hasn't let up yet. He has been blazing through the Pacific Northwest with 37 shows in his first year alone. Northwest Noise with partner and fellow rapper Bill Yu, aka Mr. 541. Through originality and collaboration with artists across the globe, Pop has become a catalyst for progress in Albany and hip-hop communities throughout Oregon. Poverty's Poster Boy keeps tight with the community that birthed him. Even, th even through having shared the stage with national names like Twista, Young Buck, and Bubba Sparks, just to name a few. Pop still proudly continues to work the grassroots of what could be the finest collection of local artists on the West Coast. Check out his newest full-length release, Almost Famous, which, can be, which is in stores now and can be sure to keep your calendars free on March 17th as Poverty's Poster Boy returns to his stomping grounds for a live performance at the Riverdale Grange Hall in Albany, Oregon. The newest production from the Corvallis Oregon State Symphony Orchestra is East of Vienna, a lush and romantic piece conducted by Dr. Marlon Carlson and featuring extremely special guests Russian pianist Alexander Gehindi. As reported by ExalerGehindi.com, in 2006 Gehindi was named an honored artist of Russia and since then has been the artistic director of his own concert series. The performance will take place at the LaSalle Stewart Center on Sunday, February 19th at 3 p.m. According to the Symphony Flyer, you can get reserved tickets in advance at COSUSymphony.org ranging from $15 to $30, and general admission tickets in advance at Grace Winds Music or Grassroots Books and Music. At the door, tickets range from $17 to $32. Admission is free to all OSU students with a valid student ID once seats are available one hour prior to showtime. So be sure to get there early. It's never too early to mark your calendars, folks, so get out your planner and circle December 8th because you won't want to miss Corvallis Weekly Independence Launch Party taking place at Cloud9 in celebration of their 11th straight week of awesomeness and their newly expanded format. The party will offer a variety of entertainment from DJ James Edwards mixing the beats to awesome opportunities to win door prizes, tons of gift certificates from local businesses, and a couple of the never-before-seen Corvallis Weekly t-shirts. This launch party to remember will kick off at 10 p.m. So be ready, you won't want to miss the first ever bash put on by the Corvallis Weekly Independent. Looking to see one of Oregon State's finest musicians? Look no further than OSU senior Brent Robinson. While he's majoring in business management, this student's true passion seems to be singing and guitar. Robinson is scheduled to play at Fireworks this coming Monday, February 20th, at the restaurant's weekly open mic night. According to OSU senior Amber Stark, he has a very relaxed and mellow sound that's still full of passion. Robinson plays some covers, but also writes many of his songs himself. Not only has he played at Fireworks numerous times before, but he has even won open mic night. Fireworks must love him just as much as he loves playing there because they continue to invite him back to play. According to fireworkscorvallis.com, admission to open mic night is free with a $2 minimum purchase. But don't let that fool you. You still need to get there early as it often sells out. Last weekend was a tragic one with the passing of legendary music icon Whitney Houston, just hours before Clive Davis' Grammy party in Beverly Hills, California. Houston was found unconscious in her hotel bathroom Saturday afternoon and was pronounced dead within the next hour of her discovery. There has not been an exact statement released as to what the main cause of the death was. The nation was struck by this unexpected loss, especially the music industry, which paid an immense amount of tribute in honor of Houston, who once more brought an entire crowd to their feet. Last Sunday night marked the 54th annual Grammy Awards, at which a variety of tributes were performed, honoring Houston. 
Jennifer Hudson sang Hudson Houston's 1994 record of the year track, I Will Always Love You, as a Grammy tribute, and a clip of Houston's 1994 Grammy performance of the song was replayed during this tribute. This touching moment moved all of those in the audience as they responded with a standing ovation. Tonight, Friday, February 17th, the absurdly goofy and off-the-wall band Conbro Chill will take center stage at the Hawthorne Theater in Portland. The development of the band all started when Lake Oswego native Connor Martin was asked to make some YouTube videos promoting lacrosse while his brother Sam Martin filmed. The Martins had so much fun making the videos that they developed it into a brand. When Connor attended Chapman University, he met fellow lax players Ty Andre and Steve Feltz. After much experimentation and goofing off, the four became a band and the rest is history. Since then, they have been working hard and just recently released their first full-length album entitled 3D Music on January 31st of this year. According to ConbroChill.com, what started as a nickname has developed into a ridiculous dynamic of fun, absurdity, creativity, and loving life. Conbro Chill is a band, an alter ego, a clothing line, a pro lacrosse player's nickname, a creative group, a YouTube personality, and a sweet party. So if you are into beat thumping crazy tunes with a twist of funk, be sure to check out Conbro Chill tonight, February 17th at 8 p.m. at the Hawthorne Theater. Tickets are $7 at the door and all ages are welcome. Local band Space Neighbor has attracted the attention of a plethora of Corvallis residents. The Space Neighbors are an eclectic group from a folk centered in the vibrant cosmic vortex of Southtown Corvallis. Neighbors aim to make you feel at home so you can kick off the space boots and get your groove on, then they can certainly put on a good show. Over the last few months, their audience has increased in not only numbers, but also has attracted a larger, more diverse audience with a mixture of people from all over the community. The appeal of this groovy band reaches across different musical and social niches, partly because they present an opportunity to show off creativity and partly because of their wildly danceable music. All right, music addicts, stick around because we'll be right back with more of your weekly fix of music news. See, I knew you weren't going anywhere. Callow Roots played a show last week in that Mount Tabor Theater in Portland, and we were lucky enough to have some bombshells there to see it all. Take a look. All right, what's up, Corvallis? We're Callow Roots from Portland. We need some reggae at you. creative process when we write our songs, usually like either me or Forrest or Nick will come up with like a cool ass riff and then Kyle will come in and step in and write some lyrics and we'll just kind of elaborate off of that and have Cordero lay down some sick ass drum beats and you know, sick ass that's pretty much it, you know, it's always it's always organic and whatever comes to mind, it's what we play, man. It's always a house party. Songs usually, songs usually start as an embryo and then we get them together with a full group and just kind of let them naturally <laughs> develop. Well, I can say embryo. I'm college Same. educated. Same. Two embryo. Time. Two times. It's a now. It's a now. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty that's much good. it. Yeah, that's how we make our songs. Every day. <laughs> Our band, no, no. our band sound is like you can't categorize our band sound. It's like a it's like a fusion between like jazz and maybe some ska and a lot of reggae, obviously, and we're reggae. But like, yeah, like it's it's really cool. Like uh, me and Forrest have a lot of rock influence. It's a lot of uh, soja, groundation, revolution, it's all types of references. Not personally listen to <laughs> I personally listen to a lot of the older reggae, early dancehall, Ika Mouse and uh, Yellow Man, a lot of the stuff done in, in Studio One too. A lot of Roots Radix back stuff. Just some just real heavy rhythms from the early eighties. That's my jam. And just because and then we have a half of our band is uh, half of our band is classically trained in jazz and voice and so we try to bring that out a lot. Yeah, expose that.
Portland's a big deal, man. I mean, there's not a lot of us, but it's a real strong community. We hang tight together. I mean, it's not always gonna sound the same every time. Every group you see is a different sound, but it's always that reggae sound. It's always a house party every time you come down with us. We're looking to do uh, our album coming out real soon. We've got t-shirts, we're looking at merchandise. We're just playing all over. We just love playing music and we're doing it for you guys, man. It's all about love. That's where it is. Let's talk about Corvallis. We're, we're gonna be down there on Saturday, February 25th. Jack Cole is. Come down, man. Um, we're gonna be rocking the house, bringing some Portland reggae, mix it up with everybody down there. Bring your friends. This Better not bring time. your kids. <laughs> so, second time playing in Corvallis. We played at OSU before. It was real fun, and we're excited to go back. Hell yeah. Oh, yes. Last Friday, our correspondent Patrick Mix stopped by the Memorial Union for the weekly music a la carte series to listen to the sounds of the OSU Steel Band. Here's the inside look. Hello, I'm Patrick Mick for Bombshell Music News. We are here today at the Memorial Union for Music a la carte, OSU's free concert series sponsored by both the MU and the Music Department, which has been going on since 1969. A variety of music is presented throughout the series, and today we have the pleasure of watching the OSU Steel Band. Davis from the OSU Steel Band. How long have you played your instrument of choice? I've been playing my instrument um, since fifth grade, and I've been playing the Steel Band since uh, freshman year of high school. What brought you today to play? Um, basically, we just want to get out and we just want to enjoy the feel of the Jamaican feel and also um, just provide our music of reggae, Caribbean music, and also just that foreign feel of course. So, um, just to promote ourselves as well and also just let the OSU student body just know that we have great music to play and they should just come listen to it. How do you think the show went today? It went actually really well. Like, um, a lot of the tunes, we had a couple little girls dancing up in front, and, and usually we have people in the past, they'll be dancing around forming conga lines too, so it was a great show overall. Do you like the venue? And... It was actually, um, the acoustics was kind of hard to hear back to my band, but it made it work very good, you know, just. You have a solid bass player and you got a solid drum set player, so in the end, you got a great tune going on. Are you a fan of this concert series? Um, music all yeah. Part? Oh, definitely, yeah. It's, it's great music yeah, overall. And would you come as a spectator? Um, yeah. I mean, I've just, music is my life, and so um, just to enjoy it and to hear something different each, each and every day, I would definitely just come and enjoy it. And do you have anything else you'd like to add? Um, you know, when you got a groove, and basically with the band that we have, I mean, you just cannot not smile, and also just you just gotta get up and dance when you dance to our music. So, awesome, good stuff. Music a la carte is an enjoyable free event put on most Fridays in the MU Lounge. Come for the beautiful music and bring your lunch, as it's encouraged. For Bombshell Music News, I'm Patrick Mick. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Patrick. Make sure to catch the a la carte series every Friday at the MU. And now, here to tell you about this weekend's must-see events is Patrick Mick. I'm Patrick Mick, and I search for some of the upcoming musical events here in Corvallis, saving you work and time, and you won't even get academic dishonesty for taking my ideas. 
Tonight, Friday, 17th, Cloud9 will be having an old school, old vinyl hip hop night with DJ James Edwards. However, if you consider yourself more of a rocker, Bombs Away will be having the indie, punk, American, and old grown up band Sasparilla at 9.30 p.m. If you're too lazy to walk that far to Monroe Street, PBR Society and Summer Soundtrack will be playing in the MU Basin at 9 p.m. On Saturday night, February 18th, Cloud9 continues with some hip hop as MC Maddie and Payne play. And Bombs Away will keep with The Rock as they host Angry Young Men and Inebriated Species. But if you want something different, look no further than Fireworks at 8 p.m. who will be having Sid Rosen play, a local guitarist with influences from India. At 2 p.m. on Sunday, February 19th, you can see OSU's very own symphony orchestra perform East of Vienna at the LaSalle Stewart Center. Or, if you're feeling like you want some jazz with a new age twist, you can see the Van Myers Jazz Duo at Fireworks from 8 to 10 p.m. Well, that's all the music news we have for you this week, Corvallis. But be sure to tune in next week for all new interviews, stories, and of course, to see us. See you next week.